Hello, I am Lucinda Pelche. I am the floral supervisor at Bobearch Casino Resort. We're getting ready for the holiday season and Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Today I have chosen a centerpiece for you. It's slow and long so that you can have conversations across the table. Not a whole lot of scents in it, the cattle lilies, the tulips, but I've added lots of pomegranates and I've added some wire just to pull in a more, more texture and different colors in it. So we wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Chef Kevin Thompson from Favorite Southern Kitchen. Um, one of the best tips I was given for mashed potatoes is to take boards and cheese and fold that fold the boards and cheese into the mashed potatoes. This tip was given to me by my grandmother. Um, it adds flavorful, robust taste of garlic to the mashed potato. Why well, have regular mashed potatoes when you have boards and flavored mashed potatoes? Happy Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Chef Brock. I'm the room chef here at Inkgirl and the Bear Lake Charles. And today we're going to talk about an easy grind for your turkey for Thanksgiving holidays. Um, what we have here is one gallon of fat water. We have half a cup of kosher salt. And here we have different aromatics you can add. We have bay leaves, garlic cloves, coriander seeds, crushed red pepper. We have black peppercorns. Then we have savory herbs such as thyme, rosemary, and sage. Um, you can also add any kind of citrus you like. Maybe you have a sesame tree or a lemon tree out back. You can add the zest off of those into that as well. Um, so what you want to do is you want to bring up your water and your salt solution to a boil. And then once it comes up to boil, you're going to add your aromatics to allow the flavor to release. Then bring it all the way down to room temperature. Then you add your turkey, let it sit for 48 hours. And once you're done with that, you can take the turkey out, dry it off, and then roast it. That is, brining is a very easy way uh, to ensure that your turkey is nice and moist and juicy uh, thanks to the holidays. Happy Thanksgiving from us little bear. Hi, I'm Chef Lyle Russo from Jack Daniels Born Grill. Uh, quick tip for Thanksgiving, instead of waiting all day for the turkey, I prefer just the legs. Uh, my personal recipe, I brine them overnight and a little bit of cayenne pepper, salt, sugar, and a little bit of tasso. Fry them up 350 degrees in the cast iron skillet. Doesn't take all day. You won't burn the house down. Uh, from the, everybody at Jack Daniels, have a happy Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Bill Foltz. I'm the pastry chef at LaBear's Casino Resort. Here to dispel a couple rumors about the hard to create cheesecake. What we do at the resort, 200 degrees, low and slow, just like barbecue. If it starts to rise, you're done. No water bath, no muss, no fuss. From our family to yours, happy Thanksgiving. Hi, my name is Nick, the general manager and sommelier in Brooklyn Wine Bar. So dessert is my favorite part of Thanksgiving, and it's often, of course, overlooked for pairing wines as well. So for white, I like a really good vin glacé or a nice ice wine, and a ruby port for dessert as well. Both will pair well with anything that's going to be on the table for dessert, and they're sure to ensue that Thanksgiving nap that everyone looks forward to. Happy Thanksgiving.